All right, my name is Els Campbell, and I'm a computational biologist in the laboratory branch of the Division of HIV AIDS Prevention. I mean, I'm going to describe Microbe Trace, which is a portable and secure tool um, that we use to compare genomic and epidemiologic networks that are collected during outbreak investigations. So what is Microbe Trace? Microbe Trace is a tool that's designed for, uh, to enable uh, a robust network analysis that uh, includes both sequence and contact tracing data um, that arise from outbreak investigations and surveillance. Um, and it's a very robust data integration platform that allows uh, visualization of very complex um, data elements that you typically can't visualize in an environment like Excel. Um, and it's very pathogen agnostic, so we're, we're not um, tied to HIV, although that's where we've started. We've, we work with um, hepatitis C, tuberculosis, and a lot of other pathogens um, that, uh, where contact tracing networks are typically collected. But ultimately, we want to take uh, standard Excel data sheets that we typically work with and turn those into um, complex and interactive network visuals. And so the two types of data sets that we commonly work with are um, uh, line lists, or just lists of individuals where each person represents a line. And so here, uh, towards the bottom of, of this slide, we have an example of a line list. Uh, so individual one is ID 1807. We have some information about that individual. You go to the next line, and it's another individual. This is the most common type of data that we work with in public health. But in addition to that, we'll also collect contact tracing data or partner services data that are collected during an outbreak. And this re is represented in the format of uh, the case is, uh, has a contact um, and there's some type of contact between them like sex or sex and injection drug use. Um, and so this is represented um, as person A is connected to person B by some type of contact. So Microbe Trace is meant to visualize these data sets. And we typically work with Google Chrome, although it does work um, in other common browsers like uh, Mozilla Firefox. Um, but ultimately, it is delivered to your browser securely. Um, you navigate to a website. It downloads the entire application to your computer. Um, and then you can actually switch off from the internet and disconnect, and it will still continue to function as normal. Um, the goal here is really to, to prove to you that your internet is staying local on your computer and not being shipped out over the internet. Um, <clears throat> we, as we've mentioned, we work with very um, common file formats like Excel in either CSV or XLSX formats. Um, sequence data are, are most commonly um, in the FASTA uh, sequence format, which is just A's, T's, G's, and C's. Um, and then we also take a variety of different formats like distance matrices, and more recently we take a phylogenetic tree in the NUIC format. Uh, we also boast a few other uh, functionalities like being able to save your workspace where you left off. Um, and then uh, optionally you can turn on a setting that will enable you to um, auto-save uh, every minute in the background as you're continuing to work.